Hi guys, uh, it's Terry here again. Um, I'm going to be working the solution to question 10 of the January 2020 um, paper 2. Okay, so they give us a transformation here, right? And the transformation is given by this here, 0PQ0. And they said it maps the point R to R prime, right? First part, they said determine the values of P and Q. Now, if we were just looking at this, the point R here is 2 minus 5. And that's being mapped on to R prime, which is 5, 2, right? Now, how they've drawn this diagram here, normally we would, have, we would have said this is a translation, but the way how they've drawn it, and they've given us a matrix here, right? We can clearly see that you are rotating this point R about the origin, right? Anti-clockwise by 90 degrees, right? So the point two minus five, so two minus five, right? Is being mapped onto uh, five, two. Right, so therefore what's happening here is that you're taking the matrix, which is 0, P, Q, 0, 0, P, Q, 0. And if we multiply it by the coordinate of my starting point, which is 2 minus 5, I know that I'm getting 5, 2 as my answer, right? So what we can do, we can multiply this matrix and we'll be able to solve this thing here. So 0 by 2. On the left hand side, I'm multiplying it here. 0 by 2 is 0. Then p by minus 5 is minus um, 5p. So therefore, minus 5p is on top here. Then q by 2 is going to give me 2q. And then 0 by minus 5 is 0. So all I'm ending up with on the left side is this. On the right side is 5, 2. So therefore, from that information there, I can say that minus 5p is equal to 5. So therefore, p is 5 over minus 5. So P is equal to minus 1. I can also say that 2Q is equal to 2. So Q is equal to 2 over 2. And Q is equal to 1. Right? So we've worked out P. P is minus 1. And Q is um, 1. Now they want us to describe the transformation. But we already said what the transformation is. A rotation of 90 degrees anti-clockwise. about the point zero zero right so we have always have to specify um what the rotation is um whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise we have to say the angle and we need to see what the center of rotation is right the next part here now we have a parallelogram right and they gave us pq ps right so they give us some information here First thing we should do when you have a parallelogram, right? Since this is V here, this here is also going to be V. And this here is also going to be U, right? So that's something we can tell from the diagram. Now I want to figure out what is QS. So the vector QS, you're starting at Q and ending up at S. So that can be QP plus PS. So QP is actually moving in the opposite direction so that's minus u plus v right so that is what qp is minus u plus v right so that's qs right so that's part a in part b they want to know what is qm where is qm now qm is this vector here right now the point m is such that you're dividing a line so this here is one part and this here is going to be two parts. And I'm only saying that because of this ratio that they gave me here. So you want to figure out QM. Now you already know QS. So QM, right, is actually one third of QS. Yeah. One third of QS, right? So this is going to be one third open brackets. And that is minus u plus v. Right? So therefore, qm is minus 1 third u plus 1 third v. Right? So that is qm. Next thing they want now. What they want again here? 
show dot mr. So where is mr? So mr is this vector here, right? You want to get mr. According to my diagram, I can get mr by going from m to q and then q to r. So mr right is equal to mq plus qr make sure i tell you that correct mr is mq plus qr yeah so mq right mq is simply the reverse of this vector here right so that's going to be one third u minus one third v so this is one third u minus one third v plus qr what is qr QR is V here, so this is V, right? So this is gonna be one third U and minus one third plus one is gonna give me two thirds. So this here is gonna be plus two thirds V and if I factor out one third, I'm gonna end up with U plus two V. So this is what they wanted us to prove, that's what we did, right? And then, what's the last thing they want now? They want us to prove that R, M, and T are collinear. Whenever you see the word collinear, we're trying to see if they lie on the same straight line. So R, M, and who? R, M, and T. Oh, where is T? Oh, sorry. Okay. So T is the midpoint of PQ, right? T is the midpoint of PQ. So where is that now? T is the midpoint of PQ. All right. So this is T here, right? This is T. So what we're trying to prove is that T, M, and R are collinear, right? Now you already worked out MR. That's fine. That's going to help you, right? So what we could do, right? You can try to figure out what is TM, Right? You can figure out what is TM if you want, or you can even figure out what is TR. Right? It's up to you. Let's say we work out TR. So I'm going to work out TR. So the vector TR, right, according to that diagram, One second, guys. I'm gonna challenge it with my diagram. Let me just get this diagram closer here so it'll make a little more sense, right? All right, so this is my diagram here. All right, now I wanna find TR. So TR is simply um, TQ plus QR. Yeah. So TQ, now remember T is the midpoint of PQ. So this here is going to be a half U plus QR, right? So QR in this case here is simply V, right? So this is my vector TR, right? So you know TR, right? And we also know, so TR is the full length here. This full length here is TR. And we just worked out what MR was. MR was one third U plus two V. MR was one third U plus two V, right? That's what MR was. So what, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off with my vector TR, which we already worked out, right? One second, guys. I'm gonna. Okay, so this is this is TR. I have TR here, right? And I know um, what is MR, right? Well, let's see something here. So hopefully we okay, we on the right track here, right? Uh, TR, TR on MR is a half. Hmm. 
No, MR is not a half. MR was a third U plus 2V. Right? MR was a third plus a U plus UV. Alright, so let me a sec, let me fix that here. Let's not have another challenge with some of my diagrams here, right? Hold on. So this here should have been a third, right? This is what this should have been. So let me write this as one third u plus two thirds v, right? Now we start off with tr. Tr is equal to a half u plus v, right? Now I want to get my tr to kind of look like this, right? So in order to do that, right, I need to multiply this by, if I do this, two thirds multiply by one third is that correct no that's not correct hold on let's give me a sec here guys my file is giving me a little trouble hold on One second guys, I'm trying to write any file here and I'm having trouble. Hold on, hold on. So let me just let me just do this over because this file is giving me some trouble, right? So here's what I do now. I just worked out what is TR. So the vector TR here, right, is TQ plus QR. Right? Let's hope I don't get trouble this time here. So this is gonna be a half U plus V, right? That is what TR is. We had already worked out what is MR, and we had gotten a third into U plus 2V, right? Which is really one third U plus 2 over 3V, right? Now I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna write TR, right? I'm gonna write TR as a scalar multiple of this. So if I put one third u plus two thirds v, right? Now I want to get tr here, right? So the only way that I can get a half here, right? I need to figure out what number should I put here 
in order when I multiply it I am going to get a half right so the only way you can get that right is if I put um, let's see if I put six here what happens six by a two you're gonna get oh no you're gonna get two that's all we want Right, so what we need to multiply by is 3 over 2. Right, if I put uh, 3 over 2 here, right, 3 over 2 multiplied by 1 third is going to give me a half. 3 over 2 multiplied by this is going to give me V. Okay, so we good there. So what that means is that TR is equal to 3 over 2 MR, right? So here's what we're going to say. So we're going to say since um, TR is a scalar multiple of MR, right? They are parallel, right? Since they have the point R in common that means that T M and R are collinear right so there are certain key things that they look for in their answer you need to prove that one is a scalar multiple of the next one and then you have to prove that when you prove that they are scalar multiple it means that one is actually parallel to the next and since you have a point r in common here those three points are collinear right so sorry about the problem with my um my slide i don't know what's happening there right um that's why i did over the question all right so that brings us to the end of the 2020 paper guys right